Our programmes of Chopin seek to bring the audience into Chopin's life, not merely pieces which of course a lot of are familiar, but we are also providing them with interesting background about life and times which are generally not that well known today. When he finally received the relevant papers, Chopin hastened to Paris. This program that we've put together is in fact quotations from Chopin's own writings together with basic biographical information and some of the best loved pieces that he ever wrote. It was some years ago that I was in Scotland and meeting a colleague of mine who mentioned to me quite by chance that Chopin had a Scottish connection called Jane Stirling. When Stephen first introduced this idea of the Lady Jane Stirling, I started reading up and there I had Chopin's own letters and the picture of Chopin grew extraordinarily. That's what we were trying to bring out when we actually started doing this programme. That people know a little about Chopin, but in his own words, it becomes a completely different factor. And in 1842, Chopin dedicated his nocturne Opus 55, number one, to her. And again, in the following year, the nocturne Opus 55, number two. I think, like so many pianists, we feel he is the pianist of all time. He understood the piano probably better than any other pianist composer there has ever been. Chopin has a very particular approach to the piano, which is based on his well-developed free improvising skills, which he practiced for the first 10 years of his concert life it allows you to explore the music every time you play it. On an emotional scale, I think he comes out very strongly as regards his immense emotional range. He was just an exceptional person, perhaps a little difficult to deal with as a person, but there's no doubting he was an extraordinary genius. And I think the fact that practically nobody I've spoken to does not like listening to Chopin. You can take someone who knows nothing about music and play them some Chopin and they love it. It appeals to the emotions, it goes right inside you, it touches something that many other composers don't or only do so exceptionally. Mm -hmm. 